Good morning, everyone. Sheila here in Boho Daydreams, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you had a wonderful week. Today is Friday, and as all of you know, it is my favorite day of the week. I just love Fridays, and I also love Saturday mornings. I, I don't know. It's just something about them. Um, today is also Good Friday, so... It holds a lot of sentiment for me and many of us. I celebrate uh, Good Friday inside of my heart every day. So, but it, the reminder of it as we celebrate Easter is kind of a reflection on what it actually means. We woke up this morning to 20, less than 20 Celsius, uh, sorry, Fahrenheit. And for my Canadian sisters, um, international sisters that was lower than minus seven celsius and wow there was even snow and it was it was cold but i made this really nice fire last night as i watched a movie in here and it is just beautiful warm i don't even have to make a fire this morning i think that it will warm up today it'd probably be like half summer or something like that but i do see looking at the mountains and and the canyons there's blizzards in there. I'm watching storms in the canyon that's right directly in front of me um, is huge, huge storms going on in there. It's very beautiful. I've been here almost four years and I never get tired of it. So super excited because what's sitting before me is our lace package from Georgianne Miller Anderson. And she is damsels and lace and I'm going to link that in the description box now it was kind of iffy if Georgianne would be putting out a springtime package uh, she had discussed it a few times and then um, there were just some circumstances that kind of made it a little bit iffy but to all of us who love her packages Oh, I'm so glad that she was able to manage to put one together for us because this is my luxury extravagance to myself. This is always the gift to myself um, when Georgianne puts these out. So there's a bit of a letter here which will tell me just a bit of what this package is going to contain. And I haven't opened it yet, so we'll see what's going on. So she says... This is the Springtime in Paris bouquet, and it's got vintage and antique laces. Some of them are rare, um, and she has a few of her favorite newer ones. And honestly, lace, if lace is beautiful, it does not matter how old it is or how new it is, as long as it's beautiful, right? Um, I picture you running your fingers over each and every piece and it makes me smile. Now, there's nothing quite like holding a bit of lace that dates back over a hundred years <clears throat> and imagining the garment which it was adorned. And it's true, all the stories that um, these pieces tell, and that's why I have been addicted to laces, I don't know for how long. And I look at them like pieces of art. And it's very hard for me to use them because I know that when it's used up, I probably will never find a piece like that again. So that's, that's what makes it difficult. And I think that I'm not alone in that. But I have watched how some of you um, immortalize the piece in your, in your lace books or how you use them in your journals and your, and your crafts. And I think it does a great honor to them because it just means that their story is going to live on for the duration of that piece that you created. And that's really something. And that's why I have started to use bits and pieces as I'm learning how to create, as I'm learning how to make things. Um, I use bits and pieces because I know the story of that piece of lace that is over 100 years old, sometimes over 150 years old, is going to live on forever. It lives on in the piece that we create. We give it new life. So, 
The ribbons are always beautiful. They're this luxurious satin and they're so soft and smooth. They would easily tie a journal. And they're so long, you know. I look at this and that's that's quartered. So they're long, 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 long. I have a collection of them because I can't help myself. <laughs> can't help it. All right, Sue. So, ooh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? So this is a... I think that she said this is either a tablecloth. I think this is part of an old tablecloth. You can just kind of tell by looking at the quality of the threads. You could just tell this this piece was loved and washed and washed some more because of the just the way the uh, the threads look. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Short Georgian has um, a wait list for these packages. And if you want to be on her wait list, you're going to need to connect with her. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> ah, don't even want to open it, but I will. But I will. I love that. Oh, there she is. All her information. Oh, I just love this lady. All right, we're going to open it. We are going to open it up. All right. I have to take a little break there, a little coffee break, a little coughing break, a little coffee break. You know. Oh. Look how pretty is this. Georgian does most of her, her dyeing of her pieces. That is just the most beautiful, beautiful, it's kind of like a very light, light mocha, mocha blush. Oh, I love it. That is just so pretty. I have to remember how to put this back together. Like this. Look at the thick embroidery on that. That's so pretty. Like this. That is so beautiful. See, if I had a whole yard of something like this, or 10 of these, I could maybe use one. It's kind of like those Edith Holden books, you know? We can't use them until we have six replacements, and then we can use one. So that's kind of how I feel. That's so pretty. See, I would think this is maybe a newer piece, but look how pretty that is. Wouldn't that be a beautiful um, belly band or just a tuck spot? Oh, and here we go. Here's some of my favorite types of lace. I just, I love that. Her packages are just so full. So incredibly full. Excuse my fingernails. I was still dyeing some more of the woodland packages. And I have, uh, I've, I've done pretty good. I'm taking some of the tips of using bleach. On my hands and that's really working well that's working well otherwise they would look a lot worse Ooh, this that's really pretty that has its silk piece still attached to it look at that oh I love that that must have been a border off of a skirt maybe Ooh, the lusciousness of something like this. Pieces like this are so great. Like, they're textural. You look at that, and there's cords on them. It's the whole experience when you're touching the lace. It's 
some very delicate pieces. And generous sizes too. There's so much. These look like they're about 12 inches long. And there's such a selection of them. Oh, I love it. So soft. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty that is. Oh, so pretty. I love that. how delicate that is. Yummy. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is the right direction until you touch it and then you can feel which is the right side. This is just the most beautiful light blush. Oh, I love it. I'm not sure when Georgianne is doing her next package, um, but I think that she does one every couple of months. So maybe we have a summer package coming. Oh, look at this piece. Beautiful, beautiful drapery. Can you imagine that hanging in your windows? Oh, I can. I can imagine it. I would love it must be hard to cut some of this up you know I always feel like once it's gone it's gone so I can't really use it but I am I'm going to use it I'm going to be using it that's for sure I love this you all of a sudden hear my dog you hear some barking or you hear someone hacking up a hairball that's that's my dog she goes outside and, you know, we've had some nice weather, so there's a bit of grass outside and she's, you'd think that she has part cow in her because she's out there eating grass every time. And it's not because she wants to throw up, it's because she likes grass. Grass and crickets, crickets too, which is kind of gross, but I don't know keeps the cricket population down that's for sure and then the piece that it's wrapped in look how pretty is that all right let me just it's never going to be as pretty as when it was first wrapped up sadly i hope that you all have a wonderful weekend if you're traveling because it is a long weekend for some people, I hope that you're safe. I know in Canada, we also have Monday. So Friday, Saturday, Saturday is not a holiday, but Sunday and Monday are also holidays. So we have Good Friday, Sunday, Easter Sunday, and Easter Monday. They're all considered holidays for us in Canada. I hope that you all travel safe. I'm going to pop this up again. Georgian Miller Anderson. She is Damsels in Lace. I'm going to link her in the description box. Oh, I just love this so much. Thank you, Georgian. Thank you for all that you do for us, us lace addicts. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.